Mobile Geek's coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by ASUS. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks right here at CES 2015 with Qualcomm. And this right here is the Coolpad Dogwon 5, also known as Dogwon V1C. The special thing about this device is its security system, so you have basically two Android operating systems running at once. One is highly secured and fully encrypted, and the other one is just, just a basic Android running with a special UI still, but it's just another Android. So the way to switch between these two is basically you just hit this button and it switches. This is the security one, so you have only a very limited functionality, but it's fully encrypted, so your communication will always be encrypted there, even encrypting calls at least as long as the operator supports that. And if you want to go back to the to the usual operating system, you'll end up in this. And yeah, in this case, the functionality is fully equipped, so you can do basically everything with it, except for when you switch back here and you are fully locked in. So there's internet access in this case, but it's mostly for calls and texts and other things that you want to do in a secure environment. And if the phone gets stolen, you can actually lock it from afar and <clears throat> have all your stuff back in here in this locked up part of the operating system. So the thief, thief would only be able to access information that's available in the fully open system if you haven't encrypted or locked that one up. What else is interesting about this device? Well, it's a super high-end smartphone actually. So it's running a 5.98 inch screen that has a quad HD resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels. That is an RGB stri stripe display, so image quality is actually pretty awesome. Let's just try and turn up the brightness on the screen right here. Let me find the screen for a second. There's the display and brightness is right here. And we're already at the maximum. So as you can see, it also has a pretty bright screen. So viewing angles aren't, aren't as good as on other phones, but this is still a very nice screen on this. Under the hood, we have a Snapdragon 801 running at 2.5 gigahertz on its four cores. It's not running a Snapdragon 810 because this phone has actually launched in China last month, I think. Um, it's really retailing for 520 euro over there. That converts to about 600 US dollars right now. So it's one of the high-end or most expensive Chinese smartphones, actually. And there's a bunch of reasons for that, except for this um, special operating system, because we have three gigs of RAM under the hood. We have 32 gigs of flash storage integrated. You get an SD card slot, and there's more interesting things in here because it not only has it its own highly secure operating system, but it also has two 13 megapixel cameras with optical image stabilization on the back. So with integrating two sensors in the back, these are both 13 megapixels on this device, uh, Coolpad is able to reduce the focus time down to 150 milliseconds. And that really makes it one of the fastest autofocuses there is right now on the market. Um, dual LED flash right there. There's a bunch of audio stuff in here that makes the sound that comes out of uh, the headphone jack very nice. And yeah, overall, it's a super high-end smartphone. They have, I think that this thing has a close to 4,000 milliamp hour battery integrated. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's take a quick tour around. On the front, we have a single five megapixel camera over here. That's your earpiece right there, two sensors. Um, this is this huge and pretty awesome um, screen that I was talking about. The bezels aren't the thinnest on this device, but hey, it's still very nice and basically huge. Under the screen, you get two or uh, you get the three capacitive touch buttons, as you know from other Chinese smartphones. These on the side light up, the one in the middle doesn't, which is the home button. And let's go over to the sides, which have a metal, metal frame that's uh, made of CNC aluminum and it actually has a pattern in here. So each of these lines that you see here are, here are individually uh, processed to be in that frame. You have a metal volume rocker right here that only wobbles a very little and it has a nice click point to it. Let's go over to the top and as you can see the pattern goes all the way around the device. We have your mic up here and these compartments, these uh, <coughs> places between in the chassis here are for the antennas, so they're separating the antennas. They even have a hold button on this device right here, so you can basically lock it. You can also unlock it, and over here we have the power button. At the bottom you get a single mono speaker, which is kind of sad considering the super high, uh, the high specs on this device. Right next to that is your 
Right next to that is your headset jack, and right here we have the micro USB port that is in this case connected to this alarm device we have on here. I think you can even take off the back because over here is a small spot where I can actually do that. I don't want to set up the alarm right now, but I guess that's where you access the uh, SD card slot and the micro SD. Uh, the battery doesn't seem to be removable as far as I can tell, but let me just try and get this open for a second. Work my way around here. Hope I don't set up the alarm again. So I'll show you the inside on this. Crackle, crackle, crackle. The lid actually sits pretty tightly on this device, so we'll see if I can manage it without breaking the alarm. If you take a peek in here, you'll see two SIM card slots and your SD card slot set. So you can definitely extend this storage on this device by. Uh, inserting an SD card and you can also have LTE connectivity on your two SIM cards right here. So yeah, this has just been a quick look at this pretty awesome CoolPad design, uh, CoolPad device here at the Qualcomm booth at CES 2015. And if you like what we do on our channel, I was rolling with Mobile Geeks and you should visit mobilegeeks.com. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, visit us on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus and we'll see you later. Bye. Mobile Geeks coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by ASUS.